Chris, and uh, I'm with Coplay. Hi there. And uh, I was hoping you can give me your name and yeah, tell sure. me about yourself. Sure and thing. yeah. My name is Tracy Yardley. <laughs> I've been a professional cartoonist for a little over 10 years. I started in 2005. I'm primarily known for uh, my work with Archie Comics on the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog comic books. I've done uh, about 30 or 40 issues of the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, series, and then uh, about 83 issues of Sonic <laughs> Universe. So, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've got I've got to write a few stories too. That was a lot of fun. I did two different various uh, story nice. arcs. Uh, four issue story arcs for Sonic Universe. It's a lot of fun to write it's a different kind of thing. It's a nice, nice change of pace. What got you into um, to drawing and doing animation, that kind of thing? What brought you into the oh, fold? I've always, I've always drawn ever since I was a little kid. You know, it's just really the only thing that I'm like naturally good at. So, you know, it took, it took a lot of, you know, it still took a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of years of practice to get good. You know, I mean, uh, I went to the Savannah College of Art and Design. Nice. I do have a degree in sequential art, but I'd like to tell, you know, uh, hopeful people when, you know, that want to get into the industry that you don't need to have a degree in comics. It's not really necessary at all. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as you, you want to get into comic books, you just need to be you know, you're good and you got to be reliable. So, uh, but art school is good, but, you know, it, it helps you network with other talented people yeah. and learn in a better, you know, faster way, do, learning new things you might not figure out on your own. So, uh, you know, yeah, I went through that, and, uh, you know, I, I had some friends of mine from school that we worked together, collaborated on some uh, self-published books, just, you know, small local print shop, black and white stuff, and we would take it to these shows. And, uh, you is, know, it, is this one of them? Is this uh, like this one of your... This is a newer project that I'm working on. This is called uh, Galaxy Man and Cosmic Girl. This is uh, uh, this is Hero Cats, which is a companion book. This is actually already being published by Action Lab Entertainment. Nice. It's been out for, uh, well, I guess a year and a half. Uh, maybe almost two years, actually, I guess. They're up to um, issue number, I want to say, nine or ten right now. It's a bi-monthly, every other month book. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was issue number five. I did the uh, I did this cover here featuring Galaxy Man. He's one of the uh, background characters in Hero Cats. And we, uh, he's also the star of the upcoming uh, Galaxy Man and Cosmic Girl. Uh, I'll have to erase and change the shapes and make sure all the word balloons fit. I make I actually draw all the words there, so I make sure that there's room for them, which is a, you know something that not a, some people don't do. Uh, but uh, then once I get everything all fixed the way I want it, then I'll come in and I'll, I'll erase a lot of my, you know, uh, build-up lines, and then I'll, uh, I'll do the final drawing. Mm -hmm. I didn't even ask this. What's here? What's um, Galaxy Man and Cosmic Girl special powers? Or do they got them? Well, they do have powers. Um, the, the, the kind of the, the pitch about Galaxy Man is. Uh, He's a husband, a father, and a hero. As an uh, astronomer, Stanley Quest, uh, was married married to um, astronaut Amelia Quest. Mm -hmm. Amelia was lost on a mission to space to study a comet, and uh, you know Stanley was, of course, distraught about this. He goes to his telescope every night, searching the stars to find his missing wife in space. When he is, uh, you know, suddenly struck by a meteor. Now we don't know—is this coincidence? Is it fate? We're not sure yet. But uh, that co that comet for the uh, meteor gives him the power to become Galaxy Man. So now with his newfound powers, he can scour the cosmos looking for his lost wife. But just like with all superheroes, great power, great responsibility, all that. So he protects this, he protects Stellar City with his newfound powers, also as Galaxy Man. And uh, unbeknownst to Stanley, his daughter is Cosmic Girl. She too got some of those powers from that meteor oh. and struck their house. So he doesn't know that his daughter is Cosmic Girl. So she just comes out of the fold, just like, yeah, I'm gonna work with you. And he's <laughs> like, all right. Exactly. It's, it's a little odd, but you know, uh, it's it's it, 
one of her powers is to mask her identity from him. There's more than just that. You know, she has like kind of like a mind power to trick him into you know not recognizing that it's her. Oh, okay. So, yeah. that, that makes a lot of so sense. Of course, you know, Stanley, you know, he, he played played football when he was in school. You know, he's he's great with science. He's not necessarily the most imaginative guy. Mm -hmm. He knows what superheroes are from comic books. And he's super strong. He flies. So the things that he understands, that's where he gets his power. Their powers come from what they believe they can do. That's tight. So, yeah. so Susie says to herself, oh, my dad is awesome. He can fly. I could never do that. He, I'm not as cool as he is, so she can't fly. But if, oh. she, if she just believed in herself, she probably could. She probably could exactly. make it happen. So, but we'll, as the story goes on, we'll probably develop that plot point so that we'll more, you know, they'll... And she'll start having more powers yeah, and as she know, believes in herself, yeah. you know, and... and He'll probably get to know her one day, or know that it's his daughter one day, oh, yeah. or something well, like that. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll you know, of course, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we hope that he'll find his wife in space someday. But we're gonna work up to that. There's a whole bigger story that we'll, we'll kind of work into that. So. Okay. But that's gonna take a lot of time. So. <laughs> well, appreciate it, man. Well, I just want to go ahead and uh, have you give your name again. Yeah. Hey, I'm uh, Tracy Yardley. Yeah. And uh, if anybody see this this weekend, come out to Mobile Con check out my table here see all the stuff uh, uh, you know go check out on Facebook you can Gal Galaxy Man is there on Facebook Hero Cats on Facebook you can like that uh, my page Yardley Tracy Yardley you need to search for me on Facebook uh, you know let me know what you think about our art uh, order some books uh, let us know and ho hopefully you enjoy what we're doing thank you very much man